They had turned up in their thousands on the night of the big event to witness the wonder from the West. What looked to be one of the most one-sided Inter-Dominion finals in history was anything but in the countdown to the big event. Drama had taken place when Pro Chevalier's train arrangement Barry Perkins had told stewards that the champ was acting in an unusual manner when being harnessed up for the big race. It was feared that the horse would have to be withdrawn on veterinary advice. But after taking the horse on his pre-race warm-up, he was given a further veterinary examination and was passed fit to run at 10.12pm, two minutes after the advertised starting time. And as they come down to get the bell, 1,100 to go. It's Per Chevalier, a sulky's length to Gosh. Village Kid on its inside. And then a sulky's length to Gamalite. Back on the rails, quite famous. Followed then by Bundanoon, Toby Dwayne, Game Oro, Panyon second last. And last at the bell is right. One lap to go and the hot favourite Per Chevalier unbeaten through the series. Let a sulky's length to Village Kid and Gosh together. In fourth placing is quite famous with on his outside Gamalite. Then Toby Dwayne badly boxed up. Next Bundanoon, Panyon pulled out three deep from Game Oro and right. 700 to go into the back and Per Chevalier under double wraps. Two metres to Gosh. A metre to Village Kid going easily but locked in. Now Gamalite pulled out three deep on the outside. Bundanoon and Panyon four and five wide. Quite famous with nowhere to go but Per Chevalier in front and the driver Perkins has a look around he's a sulky's length to Village Kid and Gosh together Village Kid still looks his main danger but he'll never let him out they're followed by Gamalite on the outside of quite famous and Toby Dwayne the rest look beaten Per Chevalier headed around the turn two meters to Gosh Village Kid boxed up Gamalite coming three deep Game Oro four wide but Per Chevalier clear in the straight he pulls the whip on him he's two or three meters in front Game Oro coming down the outside Village Kid trying to get out. Pro Chevalier in front. Village Kid gets out too late. And Pro Chevalier has won the Inter Dominion. Two metres to Village Kid and knows away third game or oh. Then Toby Dwayne and... The WA Speedster had written his name into the history books and had joined the elite group of pacers who have gone through the series undefeated. It was an emotional climax for Barry Perkins and Pro Chevalier's connections Ken and Wendy Levin. On his return, he was given a standing ovation by the record crowd of 38,000 people, the largest scene at a Victorian harness racing meeting since Minuteman had won the Inter-Dominion in 1960 before a crowd of 45,000. As a seven-year-old, the WA Glamour horse won at each of his five appearances for $103,000 in stake money.